Here I'm going to show you uh, the basic tools in 2D design. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is change the size of our uh, worksheet on here. So I'm going to go to Setup, Drawing and Layout. And here I'm going to change A3 to A4. I want a smaller surface of paper and click OK. Uh, double click on the grid on here, put five millimeters. I want those little dots to be a little bit closer together so it's easier to work. And OK, here I'm undoing grid lock uh, to make sure we're not getting there. Um, and with the curve tool, I'm going to start drawing uh, my letters on here. Uh, so you need to plan for the kind of double curve on here to finish it off, double click. It's going to finish your line and then you can start again. So I'm here I'm going to start parallel line to make it a little bit like bubble writing. Just want to move that slightly, make it slightly more squished on here. It's too big. And back to the curve on here on my tools. And each time you click, it just kind of settles the curve on here. So if you do it nice and slow, uh, you can be able to control the curve on that. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the line tool and overlap on here. So I make sure I've got the lines crossing each other. And then I'm going to go to second letter. So now I'm doing the circle tool. I want to draw a no on here. I'm going to get on the kind of move and size tool and click that and make it a lot bigger. Uh, you can squish the shape as well to make it a little bit more oval on here. And when I'm happy with it, I'm just going to do another uh, kind of circle shape for the inside on here. So back on the circle tool and expand on here and then get the move tool. I'm going to move slightly to the side on here. OK, uh, now I go back to my line tool. I'm going to do a P. OK, and then go back to my curve too. I want to do the curve of the P up here, but you could do it all square if you wanted. So you can see all my lines are overlapping uh, on there. Just doing the second line on here to give it that 3D effect. And double clicking. Uh, just changing the shape so it overlaps a little bit. So now with the delete tool, the one with a little gap on here, I'm just going to go and delete all the spare lines. So I can see my letters as they should be and give that kind of nice and neat edge to it. So once I've done that, I can move my letters slightly. I want them to overlap each other. And it's taking quite a bit of room at the moment. I'm going to just run that room in a page. So I'm going to carry on. Same principle on here, making sure my lines overlap. Just adjusting the size of the letters a little bit. I think they're taking too much room, so I've made the P shorter and get it through the eye on here going back to my delete tool and deleting the gap so here i'm deleting the letters behind as well i'm selecting my whole shape and making it as big as i can in the page getting the proportions right uh finishing that off on here now i'm happy with it uh, so now what i can do is save that so file, export file, I'm going to save that as JPEG and give it a name on here. So letters, or name here and save as JPEG. 